like delta Q over delta T, right? So the amount of charge over the time. So we have Q, that's easy, so that's 4 times 10 to the 23rd, uh, and then down, wait, did it say that many electrons? Yes. Uh, okay, we have to do that times 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs per electron. Right, so you have to do that. Then, this is 24 hours times 3,600 seconds per hour. So that, isn't that a song? Yeah, something like that. Okay, so yeah, um, now it's just a function of doing this. Now this... And this becomes times 10 to the fourth. This is 3,600, so that goes away. So you get 4 times that, 6.4, divided by 72 or 80, I don't know. What is it? 86,400? 86, that's, that's the bottom. Oh, no, I mean, what's the whole thing? 0.741? Okay, that makes sense. 0.74 amps. Okay. And this is important. And I forgot that third period. What's important? <laughs> the charge per yeah, coulomb. Yeah, that's crazy important. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, you get a fantastically gigantic number. Yes, yes, you do. <laughs> it's like 4.6 times 10 to 18. It's like all of the electricity ever produced <laughs> by mankind <laughs> through one wire. That's but what you I get. got it right, so I count from something, right? Yes. But yeah, me too. Minus 19. Huh? Yeah, remember, the charge <laughs> QE, an electron's charge is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. Actually, it's negative that. So a photon is positive that. Mm. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't care. I just took that for that. Yeah. Oh, this one? Oh, it's 60 minutes, 60 seconds to a minute, 60 minutes to an hour. Seconds per hour. Yeah, this is seconds per hour. Okay, anyone else? Questions? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.